Hello guys, welcome to Remisol Online Academy. Enter into a new way of learning. I am Remy. If you have been wanting to create high quality 3D animated characters and artworks for free, then this is the right place for you. About these step-by-step -step tutorials. In this series of video tutorials, I will show you in simple and easy steps how I made my pretty black woman in a 3D animated kitchen by customizing a 3D model on Paint 3D, Windows 10, and then giving it some 3D animation on Mixamo. About this video. In this video, you will learn the following abilities, skills, and sub-skills. How to create 3D characters using Microsoft Paint 3D Features of Paint 3D Basic navigation 3D shapes Inserting 3D models Manipulating 3D models Dragging 3D models Resizing 3D models Rotating 3D models Sliding 3D models. Each subskill is part of and necessary to another more complex skill. Helpful tip You can enable subtitles and closed captions CC if you have trouble understanding the narration. It is really all about you. I hope you guys will learn something from this video, and if you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up by smashing that icon below. Please share my videos and kindly subscribe to my channel for more updates. My name is Paint3D. Today I want to make some basic 3D modeling with Paint3D. Paint 3D is designed for anyone with no design or modeling experience, regardless of their skill level. Microsoft Paint 3D is a completely free program available in Windows 10. Older versions of Windows cannot run the application. 3D modeling in Paint 3D. So, can I really do 3D modeling with Paint 3D? If yes, then what types of 3D models can I make, and how? With Paint 3D, I can easily create my own 3D model from scratch, or customize a three-dimensional model from the built-in 3D library. How about making a three-dimensional model of a black woman? Getting started. Basic Navigation Paint 3D's basic navigation is not rocket science after all. So now, let me just get started. I am using a PC. First, I click on the Windows Start icon. Then, I launch Paint 3D from the Start menu by clicking on its icon. When Paint 3D opens, a welcome screen shows up. I click on New to start a new project. My Paint 3D workspace opens with a blank canvas in the center. 3D Shapes To start creating my own 3D model, I select the 3D Shapes icon from the Drawing Tools on the top menu. That's the third one from the left. Two icons appear in the Active Tool pane on the right side of my workspace. I click on the Cube icon to open its submenu. I can choose between a 3D library, a 3D Doodle tool, a small selection of simple 3D object shapes, and a set of basic 3D models. Inserting 3D models, I go ahead and create a female 3D model by selecting the woman icon from the 3D models tray on the right menu. 
with a single click, a blue 3D woman appears on the canvas. Manipulating 3D models. Let me see how I can move and manipulate my 3D model in the canvas. Dragging 3D models. I left a click on the 3D model and drag it with my mouse to move it around the canvas. To enable mouse dragging, I need to press and hold down the left hand button of my mouse. Resizing 3D models. To enlarge, shrink or stretch my 3D model however I want, I just click and drag the 8 little white squares on the corners and sides of the box surrounding it. Rotating 3D models. When I click on my 3D model, four movements arrows appear. Y axis rotation. Spin on the Y axis. The bottom side arrow is used to rotate the 3D model around the Y axis. X axis rotation. Flip on the X axis. The right side arrow is used to rotate the 3D model around the X axis. Z axis rotation rotates on the Z axis. The top side arrow is used to rotate the 3D model around the Z axis. Slide in 3D models. Z axis position. Slide forward and backwards on the Z axis. The left side arrow is used to slide the model along the depth axis, that is, the third axis in a three dimensional coordinate system. Conclusion Paint 3D can be used by anyone with no design or modeling experience. Its a 3D functionality is probably the most appealing feature. Its simple user interface makes it so easy to customize 3D models from the built-in 3D library or create new 3D designs and models from scratch. In this video, I showed you where to find and how to insert those basic 3D models into your project. You also learned how to manipulate, drag, resize, rotate and slide a 3D model. These basic navigation features are required to get familiar with the software user interface. You may need to spend some time playing around with them until you get a good sense of moving and manipulating your 3D model. The next step will be to recolor and customize the 3D model. In my next video, I will also show you how to use some interaction controls. Closing. Part 1 has come to a close. Make sure you watch the next video for part 2 of the tutorial. I have more tutorials on the way. Lastly, I want to hear from you all. Hearing your feedback is what inspires me the best. Was this video helpful? I hope you enjoyed your time and learned something new from this video. And if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up by smashing that icon below. If you think this video was helpful, please help spread it by clicking the sharing button below. If you are interested in similar videos, kindly subscribe to my channel for more updates. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please let me know down in the comments area.
Please share your thoughts. Your feedback would be highly appreciated. Thank you for your valuable time. Please note that this is not a sponsored video. Goodbye.